let's sort of go a little further on the topic of fat loss. Um, and if you could uh, sort of focusing more on obviously on the supplementation aspect of it, let's assume uh, I think we can get into a whole other talk on training programs and, and nutrition plans for this stuff. But let's let's assume someone's got that down pat. So, um, looking at supplementation, what would you recommend for? Uh, uh, for a guy that's he he's been training, let's say already pretty well. He's got his diet down pretty well, pretty good, um, and he's starting. He's he's got a, a fair bit of muscle on him, but he's got that gut he wants to get rid of. But he's really worried about losing body, losing lean tissue along the way. Um, what can what can he do to help target like uh, to help re you know reduce body fat, whether it's by increasing metabolism or by nutrient partitioning or by um, you know however other methods that would be effective uh, while sparing uh, lean tissue. Yeah, um, you know, of, of course, you know, you're right. We could get into a whole talk about this. Um, no matter how much I believe in SD Pharmaceuticals and, and, and Pharma Freak and, um, you know, and how much they've helped me to, to get to where I'm at, um, I will always say, and even the owners uh, and the founders uh, will say the same thing. Uh, diet is primary. Yep. You have to get your diet in place and check and clean up your diet if you want to clean up your body. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's the first thing. Second thing is uh, I would say second would be, uh, you know, of course, training. Uh, you want to increase your, your cardio. But for your average person trying to lose weight, um, I think, yeah, definitely clean up your diet. Add some sort of uh, an increased cardio element, whether it's exploring with, with a high-intensity training or whether it's steady state. Yeah. Um, but never take out weights. Always do strength training. Absolutely, yeah. No matter yeah, what. That's a, oh, yeah, that's a good yeah. point. A lot of people will say, well, I'm done my bulking phase. I'm going to focus on cardio, and they'll cut back on their strength training. Or they'll think, oh, I have to go lighter with my weights now and just do lots of reps because I'm cutting. And then they'll, they're, they become catabolic. They'll start losing all that harder and lean tissue. So, yeah, still keep training hard and heavy with your weights. Just look at cutting the, the starchy carbs, caloric deficit, and your cardio. Yep. Um, so once they got that in place, what sort of supplements would you look at? So then, you know, that that's that's where it opens up. And and typically, even when I have good friends of mine and family, I always tell them get those two in place first, and they will get results. They will. And if if they come to me a few weeks later, three, you know, six weeks later, and say, I got no results. I know that they did not change anything about their diet or their yeah. training, or, or 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 they did and it wasn't sufficient. Mm -hmm. So um, when when something like this happens, um, I typically want to make sure that they've got this in place. Now, how do I know that they got it in place? Well, this is how I know. I usually give some tips uh, on you know cleaning up your diet and your training, and, and or they read their own and and find what works for them. They come back to me about ten weeks later, <clears throat> and they say, "Paul, wow!" And I look at them, "Wow." You got some results, man. What did you? What have you been doing? And uh, oh, I, you're right. I I did some reading, and this is what's working for me. And this is you know this is how how I'm training. But here's the issue. This is why I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you, and then I usually cut them off and say, "Let me guess. Let me guess. You've plateaued. Yeah, I plateaued. I mean, I I just I'm not changing anymore. I look the same, and I I'm I'm so happy with the results I got. But how do I get more? How do I keep the ball rolling? Well, at that point, that's really when supplementation comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I think, uh, you know, when, even when I used to work at the nutrition store, I'd see these kids come in, sometimes kids, uh, you know, first-year university students coming in, and, and they're picking up a creatine and a testosterone booster and, uh, and uh, the, the highest-end protein you can find on the market. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and they pick up like six or seven products. They would drop a whole bunch of their student loan money and uh, – and then they don't know what's working, what's not. Their diet's not in place. Their training's not good. It's a waste of money. And sometimes uh, they're just starting training, and they're like, oh, "I got to get all this before I even start working out." It's like, dude, that's just it. hit the that's gym a little it. bit, see where your your calories need to be, get your diet in place, then come and see what. Well, how can I take it to the next level? You got it. I, I mean, I used to coach soccer, and I would see some of these little kids. I was coaching the eight-year-olds, and I'd see eight-year-olds come in with like the, the brand new shoes that that I can't even afford, and you know, they're bringing them onto the pitch. And they're eight years old, yeah. you know, and it's the same concept. It's you know, you don't have to go to an elite supplementation schedule when when you haven't even uh, you know you haven't even scratched the surface of what's the most important, which yeah. is your diet, your training. Uh, so for those people that are doing it properly and they do come to me and they have plateaued, then I'm 
very open to supplementation. That's when I that's that those are the people I love to talk to because they're the people that knows know the hard work it takes in the gym and they can see the difference when they go on to a supplement. They try a supplement, they say, Holy crap, I, I, I've been doing the same workout and, and, and diet for eight weeks. I got results. I plateaued for the last four. I added this product, it's been two weeks and boom, I dropped another five pounds and or yeah. I put on another you know two pounds of lean muscle. Um, those things are, are, are uh, why I do what I do and why I love what I do. So there are there are a few. Um, I'm actually going to share a couple with you if that's cool. Yeah, um, sure. I'm going to do a screen share and I'm going to I'm going to bring you to the SD Pharmaceuticals page. Cool. And I'm going to talk about a couple things first. I'm going to talk about um, a few. Uh, I'm going to talk about the categories that that we have on the website. I'm looking at it now. Uh, again, I'm going to show show the viewers, but. Um, there's a fat loss category, there's a hormonal support category, uh, and then there's a muscle growth uh, and strength category as well. Now, uh, all of these categories have different products in there, and people might look at that and, and they might feel overwhelmed. I, I don't know what I, what, what I, what I got to do here. I don't want to take a supplement. You know, um, It's actually really, really easy to understand when you look at it, and uh, I'm going to explain a little bit right now. So all right, cool. Let me share here. Yeah. It's up. All right. Okay. Good. Perfect. So, uh, we're looking at the SD Pharmaceuticals page here, and uh, if you look here, uh, where where my uh, cursor is here, um, uh, where it says fat loss and energy on the left, uh, you'll see a few products listed there. You'll see Raspberry Ketone 200. You'll see Green Coffee Bean. Uh, you'll see Garcinia Cambogia 500, and you'll see uh, Dendrobium 600. Now, yeah. all of these products um, are pharmaceutical grade. First off. Uh, they're uh, clinically proven, um, and they're in the clinically proven dosages uh, w here here on the on the website. We we only offer clinically proven dosages. So uh, with the raspberry ketone, I mean they all have different properties. R raspberry ketone, for example, um, helps uh, helps to burn to to burn fat, but it does does so through a non stimulant way. So it's not speeding up your heart rate. Like caffeine would do, uh, it's not making you sweat suddenly on spot so that you're, mm -hmm. uh, you're you know embarrassed when you're out in public. Uh, it's not it's not making you feel all clammy and nervous. Nothing like that. Um, essentially, I mean, and and you know, reading right from here, uh, you know, fats are mostly stored in the body as triglycerides, and uh, so when triglycerides are broken down into diglycerides. Um, they uh, they 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 have a they form free fatty acids and glycerol. Well, the breakdown of these these triglycerides is rate limiting. Uh, it, it's there's it's a rate rate limiting step in in fat burn. So, um, what you want to do in 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 this case is have a product that's going to actually um, uh, have an effect on the body where it'll actually push your your fat cells to uh, like to uh, split apart more readily without having your body in this sort of hyped up state. Um, and uh, this does so at the cellular level. So the nice thing about raspberry ketone is people at first that were supplementing with it didn't, didn't even know how it worked. Even scientists didn't really know how it worked. They were giving it to rats and they were like, well, these guys, these guys are losing fat. We don't know how. Um, because they realized that their, their heart rate wasn't increasing. Nothing like this was happening. So what they found after you know studies upon studies upon studies, uh, and eventually made it onto the Dr. Oz show. I mean, he yeah. talked about it, exploded raspberry ketones. Yeah. But we we knew about it long before <laughs> Dr. Oz. In fact, raspberry ketones was uh, one of the key ingredients and is one of the key ingredients in in Rip Freak, and for the Pharma Freak product. And uh, and and you know that was long before Dr. Oz talked about it. Mm -hmm. um, the studies were all out there. Um, but moving on to green coffee bean. Green coffee bean works in a different in a different way. It still doesn't get you all hyped up. It, it's not caffeine based. Um, even though people see coffee, a coffee bean, they think there's caffeine. There's actually less than a milligram of coffee. Uh, sorry, of caffeine uh, per serving. So uh, there is no ca caffeine in, in really in the uh, green coffee bean. So how does it work? Well, green coffee bean contains uh, chlorogenic acid. And um, it has actual modulating effects on glucose metabolism in the body, okay. and uh, it actually helps uh, to inhibit fat accumulation. So, whereas raspberry ketone is working for your body to lose fat, uh, the green coffee bean is actually stopping your body from making fat uh, or accumulating fat. So, 
So while one's burning, the other one's stopping it from accumulating. Uh, and then there's Garcinia cambogia here moving, moving along. Garcinia cambogia uh, uses hydroxy citric acid as, as a main uh, component. And it has a dual effect. First, it, it uh, helps support serotonin levels in the brain. And, and uh, serotonin levels in the brain can help reduce appetite. And the second thing that it does is it actually impacts an enzyme uh, in the body that, that's um, responsible for turning carbohydrates into fat. So it actually limits this, this action. So again, there's less fat accumulation in the body. And as a nice little, so as a nice side effect, you don't crave uh, comp complex carbohydrates or carbohydrates in general as much. Uh, helps reduce hunger, not get rid of hunger, uh, which is something I'm going to touch upon in a second. Uh, and it, it, it also helps uh, so that fat doesn't accumulate in the body. So you look at these things and you say, okay, raspberry ketone is different than green coffee bean, which is different than Garcinia cambogia. So which one do I take? Because they're all great for fat loss. Well, here's the thing. Uh, you want to take one that best suits whatever your needs are. So if you're a, a person that's having a lot of carbohydrate cravings, Garcinia cambogia might be the best for you. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're the kind of person that um, that uh, you know just can't burn those extra few pounds, uh, raspberry ketone might be for you. But here's the thing: if you want the best, the most comprehensive way to attack your fat loss, then you would want to attack it from every angle. So you'd want to stack these, and stacking essentially just means uh, taking them all at the same time. Not at the same time in one dose, but uh, following the label properly uh, on each of those products. So it would be picking up a raspberry ketone, a green coffee bean, and a Garcinia cambogia, and taking them in conjunction together. Um, that way, uh, not only are you not accumulating fat, you're also burning fat, and on top of that, you are uh, supporting healthy serotonin levels, so you don't have cravings. And then you, you add that, that major supplementation component to a training regimen that's got an increased cardio component and you add that to a diet that is a very clean diet, a lot of vegetables, a lot of greens, a lot of uh, um, protein. You add all that together and then boom, those are the results you've been looking for. And it's not easy. It requires a little bit of money to on supplements. It requires time in the gym. It requires effort to stay away from the easy to grab chips and, 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 and chocolate bars, but all that sacrifice that you make uh, that, that is different than the lifestyle you used to have is what's going to give you those results that, that you want and you, you thought you couldn't achieve. Um, they are achievable. You have to find, find and reach out for, for, uh, for those results and, uh, and that's what we do here with SD Pharmaceuticals. We really try to offer the, the best ingredients um, at the proven dosages to help people that are wanting to help themselves.